Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson and here's the seafood news for the week of July 22nd, 2019. In this week's episode, we examine the Alaska summer salmon season at its halfway point. This episode of the 3-Minute Market Insight is brought to you by this School of Fish message. Are you selling oversoaked product? If you have ever thawed your fish and had it come out looking like this, then chances are it has been oversoaked. Notice that you can practically see right through these fillets. The result of this will ultimately be a dramatic reduction in portion size and fish falling apart when cooking. Purchase on quality and not just on price. Contact Tradex Foods to find out where to buy quality seafood and never worry about oversoaked product again. The question on everyone's mind is where are the 2019 Alaskan chums? Current chum salmon harvest in Alaska are not living up to its expectations. This can be attributed to the poor landings out of southeast Alaska, where this area's harvests make up the majority of the Alaskan chum salmon run. 28.9 million chums were forecasted for the state of Alaska and southeast Alaska was forecasted to see a harvest of 20.5 million fish. Harvest totals at Statistical Week 28 show over th just over 300,000 chums through south th southeast Alaska, whereas the same time last year, harvest totals were at 2.9 million chums. Fisheries managers are still hopeful at this point that the fish are late rather than just missing. Let's go over to our salmon buyer, Rob McNutt, to see what he is hearing regarding the disappearance of southeast Alaskan chums. We have a potential disastrous season in southeast Alaska where some of the best quality chum come from. Some processors are saying the run could be late, while others are saying it's a disaster. Fishermen I've talked to have been formulating their own theories. One interesting theory was an area in PWS was predicted a 250,000 and over 1 million have shown up. Theory being the southeast chum could be following like sheep to other areas. A very wild theory I read was high sea gill netters are snagging them all. Although the reason for the disappearance remains a mystery at this point, one thing for certain is there's a very small chance you'll see very many bright chums in southeast. Prices will start to climb again. Early season frozen H&G was being offered in the low to mid dollar range. I would suspect most vendors to pull their offers next week to make way for higher prices. I recommend buying 2018 chums, if you can, before they rise in price as well. I also suspect the grounds price for other areas in Alaska will go up. I'm pretty sure about this one. Now on to sockeye. Sockeye harvest in Alaska have already exceeded Alaska Department of Fish and Game's forecast of 42 million fish, with current totals surpassing 43 million fish. From a processor's point of view, speculation is that sockeye prices will remain firm. However, Japanese buyers have a much different price idea in mind, which is in the low $3 range. Pink salmon in Alaska are coming in as expected and on par with the five-year average. We are a few weeks before the peak of this fishery and current harvest totals are over 22 million pinks, where the forecast is for just over 137 million fish. Although we see record-breaking early season volume, actual catch could see landings less than 2017 volumes, which would, could mean prices on pinks will be stable this season. We are hearing prices of low $1 a pound for Ocean Run and mid $1 for two pounds plus. One thing to watch for is the average size of an HG pink this year. They are currently around 1.86 pounds headed and gutted, which means three pound plus fish will be kept at a premium. Chinook salmon harvest in Alaska have reached just over 191,000 fish of the 250,000 forecasted by the Alaskan Department of Fish and Game. Due to the closure of some Canadian Chinook fisheries, the price on frozen kings will inevitably go up in price. If you are in need of Chinook salmon right now, we, are, we have an offer on Tradex Live of $10.50 a pound for 11 to 18 pound frozen at sea troll Alaskan kings. Right now, this is a great buy. 
Coho salmon in Alaska have surpassed 280,000 fish as of, of the 4.6 million fish forecasted. The peak of coho landings is still roughly six weeks away and early indicators are slow with this year to date volumes one third lower than 2018 and half of the five year average. It is still too early for what the pricing might look like so keep tuned into our three minute market insight to keep posted on this. And finally, our Tradex Live offer of the week is for Chump Salmon Fillets. These are number one quality, chemical free, good meat color and MSC certified. Clack, click or tap the icon above to view more details for this offer. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson, buy smart and eat more seafood.